Most of the car shows that I go to, I'm performing off about five hours sleep. That's normally about the target that I get. Because it is uh, coming up to seven, woke up at six, went to bed at one, and yeah, I'm off to Brands Hatch to join in with the Blancpain Lamborghini racing series thing. And I'm displaying my MGB within a bunch of supercars because I don't know why because, because, you know, I don't. However, this car does currently suffer from a problem as it normally does being an old car. And today's problem is burning brakes. Yeah, so a problem with my brakes. Not the best part of a car to go wrong, really. They basically stink of burning brakes after about 10 minutes. So it's not like I'm tracking the car. I'm literally just driving it to a motorway and then on the motorway and then off the motorway and then brand hatch. But uh, let's see if my brakes catch fire. If they do, then I'm sure I'll let you know. And you can laugh at me as I burn to death. And I'm currently in a bit of a rush to get to Cobham Services because I think there's going to be a convoy of most of the cars going from there at half seven and I'm going to get there at 7.32 apparently so we'll see. I might be having a little problem with my car. Oh no it's fixed itself. All good. Don't worry. Oh car boot sale. I can buy some teddy bears and knock off jewellery. Yeah, I've just used my brakes and there's a K1 attack. Um, yeah, they don't really work. Um, so it seems today's aim is not to use the brakes. So I'm using the gearbox to brake the engine in both senses. All right, this is Cobham Services. The K1 attack went straight on, so I'll see him in there. Oh my god, there's a Koenigsegg. Right. There's a leak as well. We just came across this randomly. I was like, there's a Greg's, a KFC, and a McDonald's at the service. We're stopping. There's also a, an egg. And there's also some. Chris, I spent ages cleaning my car yesterday, and some bird has decided to leave its mark on it. <laughs> Where? You just caught the edge. Oh, Jesus. I guess we're going. Good next thing. F40.
think we've arrived. Let's see what we can see. I'm using a lot of engine braking to brake and a bit of a handbrake so that my brakes don't stink. With a K or C? Let's see. Perfect, Adam. Yep. Do you want to go down yep. and see Ross and he'll give you tickets, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Morning. Hey, are you Hello. using Crossage? Uh, yes. So I've parked up and there's a few cars here. I don't really know what to do now. Um, I don't know where any of my friends are and I can't get hold of them because I left my mobile phone at home. So I also can't do live Instagram uploads. So sorry if you were expecting some at Adam C 3046 by the way. But it is a very nice day today. Oh, there's a very one. <laughs> So we've now found the paddock and we're going to look for some P1 GTRs because apparently there's one or two of them and other people, how many, six P1s or something? I don't know, let's see what we can find. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the one that was at and there's the red one. Yes. Yes. And the Vulcan, two Vulcans, and another P1. Oh, this is good.
minute when you sat in there. That looked like that blew you away, quite frankly. Yeah, no, he's not. I've been walking up to square, so I don't know what words to do. Right, very... That car has drawn a lot of its inspiration in terms of the stuff under the bonnet from the GT3 Aston Martin as it charges its way over the start-finish line. And, well, that car uh, is uh, capable of uh, 220 miles per hour plus and is uh, valued at around about £1.8 million. Pounds. So for it to be not thrown around the circuit, but for it to be driven so competitively in these demos around the circuit, as we hear from the people who are getting out of the car, it's great to see that uh, Aston Martin, as a manufacturer, are supporting this... I haven't seen one of those in years. Wow, next year out of 15. Okay, the sun just blinked. That was weird. Oh yeah, walk backwards. Wind deflector. I've just brought us under. Skeptical. Oh, he's doing it! He's brought some out! Oh, he's got them! He's got all of them! <laughs> he's done it! <laughs> It's the end of the day basically and the sun has killed me as well as being on my feet all day. I'm sitting on my boot now. Another perk of having this car is sometimes I fill up with petrol and just sit down. But it's been a great day with some amazing cars and I hope I've got some good footage and pictures. Sorry I'm not upbeat because I am drained. 